Hey, hello and welcome to Forever Young. We're on DSC TV and we're at the lovely Hackley Park today. And my guests are awesome. We have Annie Bradsburg and Eric Johnson and myself, Pollyanna Wilson. And we're doing our show. Uh, it's on Green, Living Green and TV or something. Yeah, it's a category Living Green on our brand new channel, channel. 96. Yeah. 96, not 97. Not 97 96. anymore. 96. 96. 96. Six. Right. Get Great. your fix with 96, 96 or something like yeah. that, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Get your so fix of local news yeah. on 96. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So we're at Hackley Park today, and the day is awesome. It's beautiful, sunny, blue this sky. This is truly the best day ever. This is the best day ever. Yesterday was really good. Today's the best day ever, and tomorrow's going to be even better than is today. It? That's awesome. I love the way you think. I know. It's and the best and ever. <laughs> <laughs> so today's show is going to be on allergies. Oh gosh, this is the worst <laughs> year. Oh, yeah, there it goes. yeah, this a lot of people. First year. Yeah. I mean, it really is. They said yeah. if I get this correct, mm -hmm. something about that spring came mm -hmm. late, mm -hmm. and so for some reason that the molds makes, and yeah. the mildews and the yeah. pollen is driving people crazy. Yeah. I've I've had reports of people having like vertigo. Vertigo is where you get dizzy. Oh yeah, spinning. Well, the worst part about it, too, is that Feeling. people who've never had allergies before are now having them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I've, and I've had um, re, uh, reports, people saying um, that, like, they haven't had them in years, and then it hits them this year, like you said. Mm -hmm. This has been a record year. Even so. my dog's got them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Granny. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So uh, allergies include uh, things about... Uh, where we got, like we are saying, molds, mm -hmm. uh, spores, fungus, uh, and then you go into bacterias, viruses even, and uh, anything like that. And then you can go into anything you ingest, right? Like whether Food. Food. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got like dairy allergies. Wheat. Wheat allergies. Huge one. Um, eggs. Eggs. Uh, nuts. Peanuts, corn. Nuts, yeah. Everything. So and then food is just takes up like a huge part of that right. allergy Right, exactly. Problem. Yeah. So we're going to touch on that today. So yeah, we'll address both parts of that, that, what's causing allergies and then how to treat them. Yep. Okay. So we'll address yeah. both of those. So what should we start with? Well, I would say first, could we go into just some symptoms too of what, when people, yeah. well, when is it an allergy? When, yeah, yeah. How do you know? And keep in mind this, this, you know, we are not oh, medical yes. professionals. Yes. And you can choose to use, use or refuse. refuse. I love that line. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We, we're not here. Neither one of us, Annie, Eric, or myself, Polly, uh, we do not diagnose, treat. Nope. Or anything, but uh, we will give you an opinion. Diseases or anything, yep. But we have opinions, and we, we have, have lots of opinions on every topic. Yeah, we do. Everything you want to ask us, and ideas. So we're just here we'll to help, you. helpful information. So, um, and choose to refuse or choose to use it, and it's your your health. So take it into your hands, and we don't give expiration dates. You're not a carton of milk. You're not a dozen eggs. <laughs> you're not a loaf of bread. You, if somebody tells you you got two days, six months, or a year, don't believe it. Uh, take this into your own hands and uh, live life to its fullest. Fix, you can fix yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah. Diet is a, like you are. I mean, it's in every culture, all across the world. You are what you eat. That's so. like one of the oldest sayings, and it's true. It's, it's yep. totally true. It's yeah. Totally so true. let's. Can we talk about like first? Let's start out with the typical allergy symptoms, and then could we then mm -hmm. kind of segue into food allergy symptoms? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they can be the same. They're actually really the same thing. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go into. You know, you got your all your classic. You know the, um, um, you know nasal congestion. Mm -hmm. um, you know skin. Well, I'll give you an example. Like um, at the store, we started making um, uh, seitan, which is a kind of meat. Not meat. Satan. Spell Not that. Satan. S, S E I T E N. Okay. Right. So, right. Satan. And so okay. it's, Satan. It's, I think it's like a Japanese word or okay. something. Okay. Well, Chinese. what is it? Yeah. Well, it's actually just wheat gluten. It's just like they you you actually uh, bake it and then you fry it. Okay. Wheat gluten. It's, it's like wheat. It's, it's white wheat gluten. It's a meat substitute. Yeah, mixed with like a, some kind of like olive oil or uh -huh. coconut oil and then spices. Mm -hmm. And it, it has a texture like meat. Uh huh. But I started eating it and then a couple days later, after eating it, oh, you know, eating a serving every day for a couple of days, I thought I thought that we had like mosquitoes in the store because mm -hmm. I saw so like, itching all over. Oh, my scalp was thing. itching. Mm -hmm. My my legs was itching. Yeah. Like I have sores on my arms, red, sores red on my spots. legs, my really? nose started itching, my, my, my forehead started itching, my scalp started itching, mm -hmm. my whole body from head to toe started itching. 
And that's from gluten. And that's amazing because I have the same thing when I, and, and actually my medical doctor um, suggested that I leave gluten alone. And when I, when I do, it goes away. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as soon as I stopped eating the gluten, within two days, all of it was gone. All the itching was gone, and the, all the sores were starting to heal. Mm-hmm. Gosh, That's for four days on wheat gluten. Anybody could have thought it was a soap allergy. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah it could have been. Right. Yeah. Well, I thought it was like I was being eaten by mosquitoes or something at night. or yeah. mm-hmm. you know, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Wow. But I was really itching myself bloody all over my body, and I realized it was the wheat gluten. I mean, yeah. people suffer for, I think, for years because they don't know that it could be wheat gluten. So. I think when people typically think of allergies, though, don't they usually just think, oh, the pollens and the molds? Mm-hmm. Right, they, they think, think of sneezing of, and watery yeah. eyes mm-hmm. and nasal congestion and, mm-hmm. and they don't think throat of what or they're sinus eating. infections. Yeah, because dairy will give off these same sort of... Uh, the itchy, the black Yeah, the skin. casein in dairy. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, wheat gluten and casein are very, very similar. So that's interesting because if I, I'm, I'm actually not supposed to have dairy or wheat, and when yeah. I do dairy, and a lot of times I'm the dummy who never will do one or the other because uh-huh. if I did just dairy, then I'd know, or yeah. just wheat. Well, what I do is I go have something that has them both in there. Yeah. <laughs> and I wonder which one's making me sick. It's, it's both. Right. Yeah. It's both of them. And, and, uh, yeah. and so what I'll end up doing is is um, suffering, and it, it can come in like anywhere from, say, 12 hours to even 36 hours. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People have this idea, I think, that if you have an allergy, because see, people are thinking of the reaction you get if, you know, those people who have those heart allergies to nuts. Well, yeah. I have a teacher who, if she has peanuts, mm-hmm. I mean, right away, she will start closing off. Can't yeah, it's yeah. One Puffy. Of those yep. Right to the hospital reactions. Yep. And people have the idea that, okay, well, if you have a food allergy, it's going to show up immediately. Right. That's not the way it works. No, no, no. no. It could be the next day, it could be two days, yeah. three days. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you're. It shows up, you know, like a, fairly close to the time. And a dairy, yeah. another symptom of dairy is the itchy, blotchy skin, uh, rosacea on the face. Really? Headaches, uh, stomach gas, bloating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, nasal congestion, uh, sinus infections. Uh, <laughs> We're having a pr- parade Yay. for my ass of kids. This here, is so. awesome. We'll yeah. keep going. Hi, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, so, you're on camera. So, um, yeah, so we got like. <laughs> The dairy, and then and then there was also um, what else is uh, what was the third eggs. one? Eggs. Eggs. Yeah. So what do you guys find with people who come into the store that are allergic to eggs or find there? What kind of symptoms do they usually exhibit? Eggs for me, I I get like really bad stomach aches if oh, really? I eat an egg. Yeah, this is weird. I never did years ago, but I think I've been off them so long. Even if I get an organic, you know. Uh, grass-fed egg, I still get stomach ache. Really bad. Really? Yeah, so okay. I don't even bother. Yeah. Oh, wow. I avoid eggs. And when we're talking, so we're talking about now, do nuts, I mean, obviously we've talked about yeah. the serious reactions to yeah. nuts, but what if it's not a serious reaction? Is yeah. it the same kind of thing? Or? Yeah, It could yeah. just be mild, uh, you know, mild itching, congestion, just real mild, you know, it's kind of like a real mild version of the, you know, the more extreme anaphylactic shock or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. it's like you just get the, like the wheezing or the yeah. shortness of breath, things like that. And there's there's funny thing about um, nuts, like there's a saying, like that I heard, uh, kind of when you, as food is what you are, what you eat nuts, you eat nuts, you go nutty. Oh, that's funny. And seeds, you go seedy. You eat too many seeds, you get seedy. Too many <laughs> bananas, you go banana. You know, look at that person's bananas. You go bananas. You know, yeah, they're bananas or whatever. Now, they're crazy. They're we, like bananas. If we think of so, some, you eat too much if one food. You you tend to take on what that what people actually say. Like, oh, they're plum crazy. You know, oh, they that's eat, funny. Eat too many plums. So. That's funny that that's where that originates. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. The weird thing is, though, they say that there really is something to it, that if you like, a lot of times people who will say that they, lo- they love cherries. Right. They just love cherries, yeah. and they eat cherries, and then they become intolerant to cherries later. Right, yeah. That if right. you overdo excessive. it, and you're excessive, and you mm-hmm. don't mix up your food groups, yeah. that you can become intolerant. You should, you should eat everything and do everything randomly. You should not do anything consistently all the time. Yeah, Because yeah. you know something that's good for you today, if you do too much of it, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. It won't be good. Yeah, and, and if you think in nature, you're not going to find everything everything all at once you know what I mean you're not like you're not going to be walking through the woods and come across the gallon of ice cream and then just eat the whole thing <laughs> yeah or, or cherries cherries are in season you know, and then like, they're out of season yeah you know? you're going to just there's find a reason for that yeah you know, the yeah. whole plan it, like in my it, opinion the whole plan was made that way yeah so that we don't overindulge yeah, yeah so you know? if you go into the woods you know you're going to eat a few mulberries just a handful because that's all you can reach and then right. that's 
That's it. So. Is that way for a purpose? Yeah, exactly. so that way for a purpose. So, so excess of anything, you'll develop an allergy, just like you said. Right. So I, I think we've got to come to a break. Yeah. But what about if when we come back, could we talk about how to actually figure out what allergy you have, whether it is, you mm-hmm. know, from the molds, the pollens, or the foods? Where do people begin? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, we can definitely cover that. that. So we are on TV 96. This is Living Green, Forever Young. And, yeah. and this is the Health Hot Eric and Polly, who are sponsors of all of our Living Green programs programs here on DSE TV. Yeah, we're from the health part. And we will be back after a word from our underwriters.